it's easy to spot our bright neighbor Venus in the evening or early morning sky. Uh, it's closer to the sun and it has a thick, dense atmosphere with light reflecting sulfur dioxide. But this beautiful, deadly atmosphere blocks our view of the surface of Venus, making it one of the hardest places in the solar system to actually study. Now with the help of satellite radars and probes sent by the Soviet Union, we have learned some amazing things. First, we discovered that those clouds are suspended far above ground level, starting at around 19 miles in altitude. Below that, the 90 times denser atmosphere is transparent, but it's roasting hot. Then we found out that although the sun wasn't clearly visible through these massive clouds above, well, the surface was as brightly lit as a clear day here on Earth. And what we saw was a volcanic landscape with a scattering of craters. Now, if you look at the surface of Mercury, for example, which is much easier to photograph, you'll see how thousands of meteorites have slammed into its surface, covering it with pockmarks. Venus is similarly pocked, but there are several differences. You see, first, the surface temperature of Venus hovers at around 867 degrees Fahrenheit. Mmm, that's hot enough to melt lead. So some craters that we observe show signs of the rocks having melted around the impact site. Also, the amount of cratering was far lower than deep time scientists had originally anticipated. So they were forced to the conclusion that somehow 90% of the impacts that they had expected were mysteriously missing. Now Venus, like Earth, has volcanoes. The, the highest, which is Mount Maxwell, has, uh, it's about 36,000 feet tall, and it was named after James Clerk Maxwell, the biblical creationist who developed the mathematical formulas that allow us to develop radar. That's the main way that we've been able to study Venus's surface. Now, Mount Maxwell is hardly the only volcano on the planet. Many are similar to the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, others form nearly perfect pancake shapes. And at least one seems to have drained back into the crust, leaving a giant hole in the surface. Scientists are trying to discover whether any of Venus's volcanoes are still active. They've developed experiments to mimic what happens to lava when it's left exposed to that kind of atmosphere. And then they re-examine the data collected on past missions. But what some researchers have found suggests that some of the flows observed had to have been no more than a few years old, actually. So there are other surface features formed by the movement of huge crustal plates that remind us of the folding, tearing, and collapsing that we've seen happen on Earth here. Some of the rift valleys even have a kind of a starburst shape radiating inward around the, a raised plateau. Now, for the most part, Venus shows very little erosion, but that powerful atmosphere has had an effect on the ground. There are features that look a lot like sand dunes, and we can see some particularly interesting streams of material at raised mountains or crater rims that seem to be a kind of a, a sand drift flowing out in the direction of the constant wind. All in all, Venus appears to be a young planet with active features and it's in the middle of a universe created with great beauty, complexity, and design. In other words, it's just one more example of the handiwork of an awesome creator who formed everything in the beginning. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. If you enjoyed this, please like and share the video and be sure you're following us on all of our social media. You can also subscribe for our free magazine on our website. And remember, we are a nonprofit organization, so we need your help to continue. Consider a tax-deductible donation today as we discover God's fingerprints and share the gospel around the world.